You owe some answers, Jonas. Hey, my name is Louis Sycamore, and I am playing the role of Solomon. Hands where we can see them. Um, so the character of Solomon is shrouded in quite a bit of mystery. Um, he is an assassin. His actual origins are not completely known, but to everyone else he's he's shrouded in this sort of cloak of mystery and not everyone's sure exactly where he's from. There are rumours that in the realm of Eldervin there are a Glistening Isles, which is sort of an archipelago or a series of small islands, and it's rumoured that there's an Assassin's Guild there. So it's rumoured that Solomon's originated from these Glistening Isles, um, and that's where he trained in this Assassin's Guild to become the assassin that we know from the film today. He is, as a character, well versed and very well travelled. So it's potential that he stopped off through these listening hours, potential that that's where he came from before travelling to other places, um, and then eventually ending up in Elderbin with Nimue and Dagon. He has a, an understanding of sort of the mystic arts and sort of ancient texts and scriptures, although it's not a, a deep understanding, the same way that Jonas would have, obviously, having lived through thousands of years. Solomon, although he understands all these things and he's very cultured and, and travelled and read and studied, he is still only a human man. As an assassin, he is very singular, solo, um, self-preserving. He's changed a little bit now to become more of a, a group character. You'll see that as well through the movies, the sort of internal struggle between what you should do which is the right thing to do morally. So as a character, he, he sort of has that internal struggle a lot. So he cares for Nimue and Dagon a lot, and it is the, the group that he's joined, but it's still sort of a closed a closed wall, I would say. And when you work on the characters, it's, it's, it's great to get sort of the in-depth backstories to yourself, but then when you bring them together and you put it sort of, you start putting it down and you've got the scripts together and you, you have everyone there and you're on set, um, you really do get a great sense of sort of the camaraderie and, and the hows and the whys sort of get answered as you're going and it adds to your own backstories which is really beautiful to see sort of all come to life. The shots that we've got already and the shots that we're continuing to get, sort of the work ethic as a group it is coming together perfectly. Um, the shooting, we're out sort of in the middle of nowhere half the time. <laughs> shooting out in the forest is some beautiful, beautiful, the vista shots. And the whole dynamic of the whole thing going from the, the beautiful vista to the sort of the, the grunge of, of the village of Galamir, it's going to come together and it's going to just look so just mind blowing. You're out in the elements, it brings the elements all together, um, which is, 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 is great as an actor. Um, even, you know, with the sword and once you've got the whole outfit on, you really do feel like you are in the realm. Um, you really do feel like you are, you know, making this, this epic journey to, to Galamir. So please make sure you do go and check it out because it will be amazing once it's all done. So make sure you check it out, Galamir the movie.